Chair Hansen. Thank you, Vice Chair. Um, right. Always forget. Um, from the Standards and Assessment Committee on um, this is on 15.4. Um, the committee recommends that the board approves the proposed revision process as amended for the standards review process. Thank you. Uh, the motion is the committee recommends that the board approve the proposed revision process as amended for the standards review process. Seeing no discussion, those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? It passes unanimously. Item 15.5, definitions. Motion for the board is that the board define racism as exhibiting prejudgment, bias, discrimination, hatred, or violence towards a person or group of persons because of their origin or their belonging or not belonging to a specific ethnic group or race. Thank you. Um, the motion is as stated. Member Lear. I just had a question where this definition came from. Cornell Law. Great. Totally support that. Okay. Member Moss. I'm on question on the other side. Where is it going? <laughs> where, where will this be used uh, to be more serious? What, what, for what purpose is this being defined it's in this way? Just 328 or 320. elsewhere? Well, it, it would in, be adopted in, for use throughout the board's documents unless that, you adopted another definition. That's my question. So this would apply to anywhere where racism is used in our rule or policy? Yes. Thank you. Member Hymas. Does it, does it fit? I mean, we've, we've used that in a, a lot of different areas, right? Does it fit in all of those areas, or have we not gone we, back? We believe so, but I'm, I don't know that we've exhaustively checked every place that that shows up right. in the board's documents. Okay. Seeing no other lights, we have a motion on the floor that the committee recommends that the board define racism as exhibiting prejudgment, bias, discrimination, hatred, or violence towards a person or a group of persons because of their origin or their belonging or not belonging to a specific ethnic group or race. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Could the noes raise your hands? That passes with members Earl, Hymas, and <coughs> Klein opposed. <clears throat> Member Hansen. Item 15.6, uh, the committee recommends that the board approve the instructional materials for child sexual abuse and human trafficking <coughs> prevention submitted by Prevent Child Abuse Utah. Thank you. There's a motion as stated. Member Lear. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Member Hymas. I, I just want to give a, a quick plug. It was my pleasure to talk to Laurie Ann Thorpe. Um, and Emily Sparks, who work on this and the work they're doing is, is amazing. If you have an opportunity to reach out to them and what they're doing uh, as an LEA, I speak to the, the public here, I recommend it. Thank you. Thank you. Member Klein? Uh, yeah, I just, I just had a question on page two. Uh, I'm trying to find where it, where is this? So I can look at it. Um, it's... It's, it talks about dependency of a child can be physical, um, emotional, or sexual. Can I ask sexual. Which, which document, Natalie? Uh, this is the, K um, K I think it's, it's the actual six. curriculum. Let's see, I'm trying to, yeah, the actual curriculum. Um, K2 or K2. 3 -6. It's second grade, kindergarten through second. On page two, it says, for the trainer, Utah's child sexual abuse laws. The end of that paragraph, I'm just wondering if I can get some help understanding what that means. It says, abuse, neglect, or dependency of a child can be physical, emotional, or sexual. Dependency of a child can be sexual. I don't, un <laughs> can someone please explain that? Um, can my you explain that uh, dependency portion? Tanya, Director yeah. Albernas. Tanya Albernas, uh, Coordinator for Prevention and Student Services. That's taken directly from the statute, the definition of dependency. So it's a child can be found dependent, they, or a DCFS can make a finding of dependency based on those factors. So they can, 
a child can be dependent on a <laughs> sexual relationship? Is that no. what that's saying? No, that's not what that's saying. Dependency of a child can be physical, emotional, or sexual. You mean the adult dependent the on the child? No. <laughs> the, the finding or, of dependency can be based, the finding of that the child has been uh, made, de found to be dependent, that's a child abuse finding, is, can be based on those factors is what that means. It's an abuse finding and it's written in code. Yes. So ab Thank abuse, you. not dependency. Yes. Correct. That's the, That's the wording in the code for the finding of abuse. And dependency. And dependency. Okay. So the abuse goes with the sexual dependency is, yeah, okay. All right. Thank you. Um, seeing no other hands, the committee recommends that the board approve the instructional materials for child sexual abuse and human trafficking prevention submitted by Prevent Child Abuse Utah. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? That passes unanimously. Okay, item 15.7, um, the committee recommends that the board approve R277-609 draft two on second and final reading. The motion is that the board approves R277-609 draft one I have on my paper on second and final reading. Do you have draft two? Draft two is what I have on my reading. Let me see. Draft two is what's in the backup. So there were some amendments made in committee where we um, looked at definitions and added some language. Okay. And draft two, I believe, is what was passed forward. Okay, thank you. Um, the motion is made as stated, draft two. Member Klein. <coughs> um, <coughs> this is 609? Yes. Okay, I have a part I wanted to strike, but it's saying, hang on a second, is it page or line 92? Is that it? Line, let's see. Okay, so on line 92, um, can someone explain what those other appropriate measurements might be? Otherwise, I would move to strike. Okay, my recollection from our committee discussion is that was a motion by Member Earl. Um, to give some latitude to allow um, LEAs to use other um, data besides those that are specified in the, the rule. So as to give them some flexibility in looking at other factors or data. A bit of oh, okay. health, safety oh. health related surveys and school climate survey. So just to expand that and allow them to bring in other data. Okay. Is that, and I won't speak for Jenny, is that? Okay, okay, thank you. I'll hey. not make my motion. Thank you. Seeing no other lights, there's a motion uh, that the board approve R277-609 draft two on second and final reading. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> that passes unanimously. Hey, okay, item 15.9. 15.8. No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 15.8, excuse me. The committee recommends that, or that the board approve R277920, draft two, on second and final reading. There's a motion that the board approves R277-920, draft two, on second and final reading. Seeing no lights, please vote. Aye. Those opposed? That passes unanimously. And 14.9. Uh, um, for the board, let me get to it here, is that the committee recommends that the board approve the CTE course standards draft one as amended. I have draft two on my... Oh, hang on. We've got draft one in our memo, and we've got draft I'll two in the backup. So that's a mismatch, I think. Draft two is what came out of committee. Sorry, there's a, it looks like a mistake in the... That's okay. So the motion is the committee recommends that the board approve the CTE course standards draft two as amended. Member Earl? I have two amendments. Okay. I'd like to make amendment. It's on page 244, standard one. It's where it states creating a caring, equitable community of learning. I'd like to strike equitable and put developmentally appropriate. This is, anyways, that's my amendment. Just, okay. Well, I'll speak to it if I get seconded. Uh -huh. Okay. Do we have a second? Okay, we have a second, Member Moss. Uh, the, mo the motion is to 
in on page 244, standard one, to delete equitable and replace it with developmentally appropriate. And I can speak to that. I just think um, this is early childhood. This it is developmentally appropriate to have equitable. Um, uh, I mean, I think it's implied in that, but I think we more than equitable, we want things that are developmentally appropriate for young children, and I think that language speaks stronger to um, what I think we need in the early childhood. So that's why I moved it. Member Strait. I'd like to propose an amendment. An amendment to the amendment. Yeah, amendment to the amendment. Okay. Uh, creating a caring, comma, equitable. Comma and developmentally appropriate. Thank you. There, do we have a second? Second. second. Okay. We have, well, I'll go with heart. <laughs> I heard less people. There is a motion on the floor to um, amend the amendment to read in page 244, standard one, create a caring, equitable, and developmentally appropriate community of learning. Are we doing the Oxford comma or not? I think we got yes. some. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I think somebody told us that's not in our style guide so anymore. Oh, well, I don't want to violate that. I don't want to violate that. Uh, I, I think we're moving to it in the world, but yes. okay. Yes. We're moving toward it. I am fine Sadly, either but way. We are, and now we should. Anyway, that's not in our style guide, so let's not have an argument about commas here. Um, see, uh, Member Earl, your light is on. Oh, well, it was for oh. another amendment. amendment. Oh, the next one. Okay, so on this one, seeing no other lights, we um, have a motion on the floor on page 244, standard one, to read, create a caring, equitable, and developmentally appropriate community of learning. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. Member Klein is opposed. The motion passes. Okay, that was the amendment yep. to the amendment. Now we need to vote on the amendment. Mm -hmm. oh, we no. don't we do really need to, do we need to because her language is already incorporated into this amendment to the amendment. Yeah, so now we've got to vote on that. Right? We just did. Didn't we now we do it again? Yeah. There is a motion on the floor that we, um, on page 244, standard one, reads, create a caring, equitable, and developmentally appropriate community of learning. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. Member Klein is opposed. And it, that passes. Member Earl? Yes, on page 248, um, it states, this is under techniques for supporting lifelong learning practices. The, the language is provide materials that are culturally relevant and inclusive of children that make up the learning community. Once again, we're in early childhood development. This is provide materials. I'd like to add, strike the line that's stricken there, that culturally relevant and inclusive of children that make up the learning community to honor children's family culture and maintain a respectful attitude towards others. Two forty-eight. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Is that the PDF? It's okay. It's do we have a second? We're trying to find the right page, but do we have a second in the meantime? Second. Member Hymas is a second. Okay. She's going to try to find the right page, and then she will. Um, while you're finding it, Member Lear, I just wondered if you have. And I have to ask Jenny this question, I guess. But is the intent of your amendment that the school provides materials that are, um, now I can't see the language, but that, that are specific to each child's family? It sounds like, it sounds like there could be multiple, um, there could be multiple families, multiple family types and is that what you're th thinking that's not the right is that the right one that's not the one we were looking at can we put the amendment on the board is this the amendment in blue well that's where it comes from that's the area recognize it so oh so you by saying in in your amendment then 
Member Earl, you're saying that the school should provide materials, shall provide materials that honor children's family culture and maintain a respectful attitude. I don't have any problem with the last part, but honoring children's family culture could necessitate a lot of different materials depending on the different family cultures in the in the classroom or in the school. I'm just wondering if that expectation is that somehow those materials have to be different for many children. Um, I think I think it is in the honoring is the is the thing is that you're you're honoring that culture. And are you I think even culturally relevant suggests that there's numerous um, but, and again not materials. To be, so. Not to be argumentative, but if in the in whose definition yeah. of honor? Okay. Um, present, <laughs> maybe? Or I, I don't know if, I'm just thinking honor is maybe a subjective. Are you making an amendment to the amendment? No, I'm asking. Well, I I'm wouldn't asking, say present. I wouldn't, I, I don't think presents the word there. I just think it, it, it suggests honor, suggests a respectfulness there. So they're honoring students. Would, you, would you like to make an amendment to the amendment? Um, I would. Member Lear? I, I would like to amend the amendment to say, Maintain a respectful attitude toward uh, children's family and uh, children's families, children's family culture, and others, and just get rid of the honor. Okay, I. So you're saying maintain a respectful attitude towards children's families, family, family cultures, okay. cultures, I'm and I don't know what the others refers to, but other people, other individuals. I just don't like the honor. What is I think it's a culture? subjective standard or word. Member Strait? No. Yes, Member Strait. Uh, <clears throat> an amendment to the amendment? No, you can't now. <laughs> you amendment. can make an amendment to the amendment to the amendment. But that's the last one you can make, correct? No, there's two already. But we already have two? Well, if... if and you mine. made one and mine. amendment to the amendment. Oh, we can't make another one after that. That's right. Yet. Okay. So we okay. need to, we so need like, to speak we on can't. this one. Uh, I, Do we have a second to Member Lear's amendment to the amendment? Okay. Member Booth is has a second. So there's <clears throat> a motion on the floor that. Um, not yet. There is a motion, but not on the floor, because I haven't read it. Um, on Strand 7, Standard 1, to read, provide materials that maintain a respectful attitude toward children's family culture and others. And I say cultures. Mm -hmm. Vice Chair, I can't hit my button, but I'd like to speak at some point here. So go, um, Chair Hansen, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I just speak against all the amendments. I think as we read this, it says provide materials that are culturally relevant and inclusive of children that make up the learning community, meaning the teachers need to look at their class, um, look at the demographics, the makeup of the class, and use materials that match up with the kids' demographics. Um, the word inclusive is important that's in there. It's eliminated from all the amendments. Um, I just I think we're wordsmithing something, and I don't know what the, what the end is to do that. If it's, if it's to carve out the word inclusive, I don't think that that's a thing that we ought to be doing. I think that the standard as written expresses what we want the teacher to do. So thank you. Okay. Thank you. Member Norton? Oh. Yeah, I would just have a clarifying. Wait, I'm sorry, Member Norton. I. I need to go to Member Strait first, and then I'll go to you, Member Norton. So I walked 10,000 steps thinking about this and reading up on it. And uh, I think perhaps maybe the concern here is that the two words culturally relevant. Uh, seems to me that sometimes that's a flashpoint of concern that some people have, what that means. Uh, it, it's, can I direct a question to... Board member <laughs> Earl is is that not hers, it's this amendment right? But okay, but it's dealing with culturally relevant was removed In by both, both by both amendments. And I know we're talking to this, but is there an understand? Is am I correct that that is a concern? And what exactly is a concern? Or 
Is that the concern? The culturally relevant aspect? They're taken What's out of the both. What's the concern so with for both, what's removed? Both motion makers, is culturally relevant the concern? Not to me. Yeah, I, I would prefer family's culture, especially with the young children, versus culturally relevant. It seems more ambiguous and uncertain as to where that is directed. Okay. I, I guess as I look up the, the terms culturally relevant, it seems to be very specific on what that means, which is very inclusive of lots of ideas. Let me just read one of the definitions. Uh, learn about your students' traditions, holidays, and family, or other cultural activities, and try incorporating some of these traditions into classroom activities. That's an example. It's not a definition, but it's an example of culturally relevant uh, instruction. So is, I guess my concern is about taking the terms culturally relevant out so of you're this. You're speaking against both of the amendments. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Member Norton? I just have a clarifying question about what children's family cultures refers to. Are we talking about the children's family or are we talking about the child's culture? So is it family's culture or the child's culture? Because they don't necessarily, you know, not necessarily the same. Okay, both motion makers. Member Lear? I, Yours takes out I, or puts I, in cult, I, family culture. I what does that mean? My amendment. Are you so withdrawing your amendment? I can't. Yeah, I'm never she can't. Okay. So I'm just regretting it and don't have any debt. Okay, <laughs> then Member Earl? Especially with young children, I think that... Um, you're talking about the culture of within the home is what it is. And I think it, it's more directed versus this a broad um, culturally relevant, which could be something that may not even be, um, it may be contrary. That's why I put the word honoring to children's families. Um, it just, I, and that is, a, that is an awareness of the family itself. It's not meant to be, yeah, so. Member Hutchings. Uh, just a quick thought, just try, trying also to wrap my mind around what the family culture means. Um, I have a concern with that because it sounds like it could be pretty intrusive on the family. So the teacher has to understand the family culture at home of every student. That's what it sounds like to me, and that concerns me. So. Thank you, Member Klein. Uh, I would, I would differ. I would say that it's just, it means not undermining the culture from which the child comes from. It doesn't mean you have to teach, a, t a, s a teacher doesn't have, to, that they're required to teach every child's family culture in their class. It just means be respectful of, aware of, and not undermine what is happening in the family or what parents are teaching their children. Thank you. Seeing no more lights, we have a motion on the floor that we replace um, that Strand 7 Standard 1 reads, provide materials that maintain a respectful attitude towards a children's family culture and others. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Um, those, those opposed? No. Can the ayes raise your hand? Member Moss, Earl, Hymas, Klein, Hansen, and Lear. It's on the uh -huh. amendment, yeah. the Lear amendment. The amend to the amendment. On the amendment. So, I'll go against uh, And <laughs> Hart and Davis. And that's eight. That motion passes. Can the nose raise your hand? We have opposed. She have, she have Oh, you don't need the notes. Okay, perfect. Um, so then we're done because that trumps the other amendment, correct? No, no. 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 now we have to vote on whether to no. adopt that, that amendment. Amendment. Adopt amendment. That amendment. Yep, now we approve the amendment. There's a motion on the floor. Because I've read it, an amendment, a motion, that... Um, the amended amendment... On Strand 7, Standard 1, to read, provide materials that 
maintain a respectful attitude towards children's family, culture, and others, and strike our culturally relevant and inclusive of children that make up the learning community. Member Earl? Those uh, seeing no lights, those in favor say aye. Those opposed? No. Uh, will the ayes raise your hand? That motion fails with members Booth, Moss, Hart, Earl, Hymas, and Klein in favor. Okay. Now we got to go back to the original. There's a um, motion on the floor that the board <coughs> approves R277 dash. That's not, not it. The nope. Recommends. The committee recommends that the board approve the CTE course standards draft two as amended. Seeing no lights, those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion passes with member Earl opposed. And member Klein opposed. Also. No, just Klein. Just Klein. I'm sorry. I was like, I thought you were speaking in unison. <laughs> member Klein opposed. <laughs> what do I need? I need to read this. But well, we, we got to get these two other. Oh, oh no, well, action. That, no action. That concludes okay. the standards okay, that and assessment portion of our meeting. <laughs> yes, that concludes the standards and assessment portion of our meeting.